Hey, welcome to the Crafty Nook. Happy New Year, happy 2024. I thought I'd show my face a little bit. Although, now I'm not quite so sure. My hair's a little crazy, I've been cleaning. I have a pile of stuff right here on the floor that I'd like to put up, but I thought I'd share it with you first. So let me get you set up and get everything out and we will see what we have. So we're gonna start with the Joann's. I got a $50 or got two gift cards, two $25 gift cards. And so this stuff that I'm fixing to show you was less than uh, $50. So this actually did not come from Joann's. This came from Barnes and Noble, which is next door to Joann's. And I picked it up because I, want to start doing some more mixed media um and I thought this would be a good inspiration and honestly I love it I don't know if you've ever looked at this magazine before but it comes with like these pages they're called paper samples artist paper stamping tin and company it's a sample and there's like six or eight of them in here and they're perforated like this is one of them so, and this is how far I got reading. So, love that book. Their Christmas stuff was like 70% off or something like that, maybe 50%. Let's see. I'm trying to find where that, yeah, so this was 50% off. It, it's normally $15 and I got it for eight. It's a stencil and a stamp set. I don't know about you guys, but my Christmas season was extremely busy and just mass chaos. And I had made big plans to film all these things and do all these crafty things. And I didn't get any of them done. I didn't even get my Christmas journal ready. It's not bound. I've got the papers picked and the cover made, but I didn't sew the signatures in, and so I picked this up thinking I would get it, uh, you know, back in and finish my Christmas stuff, but I'm just not inspired anymore, so I packed up my Christmas stuff today, and um, I need to put this in with it, so, but I love this, like, this is just the whole vibe I was going for for Christmas, so it will come in handy when I decide to get that back out. Let's look at these papers real quick because they're over here on the side. Um, I picked this one up. This is an American Crafts. It doesn't say the name, but it's gorgeous. Then this one, again, American Crafts. Um, these are postcard backs. I figured I could make like collage onto the front and I thought that would be really nice. And then this gorgeous paper. So, I've got those three. Like, I need more paper. <laughs> then I um, needed some sewing machine thread that was kind of neutral. So, I picked this up. I don't even know what color it is. Color 506. It's my favorite brand is Guterman or Gutterman. I don't know how to pronounce it. But I usually get the tiny ones and I went ahead and got this one. It's uh, 570, 547 yards. Then I picked up a couple of beads. I think their beads were also like buy one, get one half off or something. So I got these. These scream fall, um, but I do really like them. And it's three different types of beads. So you got this really pretty painted one, a little tiny one, and then this uh, faceted one. And then this is like a teardrop shaped almost, like a cut off teardrop. Then I picked up some of these uh, flosses. I use these to um, bind my signatures with sometimes. And I actually ordered from Timu a wax waxer. In fact, I think it's in my pile to go through. And I thought these would be great to wax up and use. Um, so I got these four colors and I'm going to show you why I picked those four colors. I'm going to leave them out because I haven't seen them with the fabric I have yet because I didn't buy it from the same place. 
these are the two things I'm most excited about. Um, I have been wanting a set of watercolor pencils since forever. And so I finally, I had a gift card. I had a coupon for 50% off of an item. And so I picked up these watercolor pencils. They are normally $24.99 and I got them for $12.50. I have not used them yet. I did pull one out and attempted to use it, but I don't know what I'm doing. It seems a little bit weird, the packaging is. So these are all great colors, like a really great start. And I actually got an easel from my wife for Christmas um, and a little rolly cart. So I have that set up in the Crafty Nook and I will be making some really awesome things, hopefully using these watercolor pencils. I have a background started. With the this in mind so this is some um, collage paper it's the aviary i think it's this la this like 2023's release or maybe not i don't know all i know is that i've been wanting it and they don't carry this in my town we have we don't have a joann's in town we have to drive to shreveport which is about an hour ish away and look at that I, the background I have started it has this in mind and probably this, but yeah, I love that. I have several of his collage papers. Um, I think I have the entomology, the eccentric or et cetera. I don't know. I have like four of them. And so this will go in with my collection. I also went to Walmart and was buying a new light fixture for the bathroom and happened to see all of these paint chips. So I snagged a few and thought these would be really great to use my die cuts with to cut some shapes out of. So that's it for Joann's. Let me get um, my bag from when we went uh, shopping in McKinney. Hold on. My sister-in-law lives in McKinney, Texas, and we went the weekend before Christmas, and we went and saw her, and so she took us all around um, downtown McKinney, and we went shopping, and I got all kinds of goodies. So, we stopped at um, this antique store. I cannot remember the name of it. Maybe, do I have a receipt? Uh, Antique Company Mall in McKinney. And they had some of the coolest stuff. Like stuff I would never see here in Texarkana. And so I, of course, picked out a bunch of stuff that I liked. I don't even remember, like, and it was really well priced too. Like, I think, not everything was. It's an antique mall, so some of the things, like this was $10. These ribbons were $3.95. Um, these coasters were $5, but they were at a 20% off. No, they were, f yeah, $5, so they ended up being four. So, lots of variation in the price. Um... I think these buttons were $3, so look at these buttons. Like, I need more buttons, but gosh. Some of these are, like, super interesting. And I can't wait to use them. So, I'll be adding those to my button storage. Then they had these trims. And they're wrapped up. It's five yards for $3.95, which I think is a really good price. And I don't really know what if it's like sorry or what, but I got these three, four colors because I'm pretty sure that's like my whole vibe right now. And those match very well. Then I picked up this. It's just a very large piece of paper. It's textured and it's just lots of different Christmas birds. 
it's huge. It's probably like 16 by 20, something like that. And I have this frame set up in the corner of my storage that I was gonna put it in, but it's not Christmas anymore, so now I kinda don't think I will. I don't know, we'll see. But I got that. Then this is a set of point of uh, vintage party made paper coasters. There's 11 in here. I have not opened them. That packaging is super cute. It's just falling apart because it's old. I think these are probably from like the 60s, maybe 50s. I don't know. But the, like the thing said, there's 11 in here. Some of them are separated, but that's okay because I'm going to be crafting with them once I get back in the Christmas spirit. We'll see. Then um, I picked this tin up. I love it a lot. And it's going to look really good in my craft space. Ooh, it might just sit right there. Who knows? Then let's see up a couple of things. Like I said, it was the weekend before Christmas. Not like Christmas Eve weekend. Or was it? It might have been. It might have been. Like the 22nd, I think. So this is uh, a Christmas card. It has typing in it. I don't see... How, I mean, I don't know how old it is, um, but it's to Mary Lou Barr, or from Mary Lou Barr, and I thought that it made me think of Cindy Lou Who. Um, it says, wanted to write nice letter for Christmas, but time caught up with me, and here I am, not a thing ready for the hol for holidays. We'll leave Thursday for Temple for Christmas. Don't know how long. Stay. Not long. Hope. I am well and doing fine. That will always be home and plan to come for visit soon. Minnie and I visited her sister Katie in Okla. Thanksgiving. Had great time. Went on train and had meals on train. Quite stylish. Minnie is fine. Thinks she intends to spend holidays at home. I wish you, and, wish you one and the very happiest holidays holiday ever. Come see me. Love always. Mary Lou Barr. Very sweet. Then these I didn't realize are not vintage because uh, I saw these at um, Joanne's when I was there. Um, but I just went to Joanne's last week. This was a couple weeks ago. It is iron-on transfers for embroidery and they're Christmas edition. And I thought these would really be really good to put on the backs of some blank pa uh, paper in the journal. The only thing that's a little bit freaky is this deer's eyes. Everything else I can get down with. So, and who knows, maybe I'll learn to embroider and we'll embroider it sometime. I don't know, we'll see. So there's that. I think I got jibbed on this because it says it's $4. I don't remember how much they were at Jillian's, but I think I might've got gypped. And then this little book, it's from 1951. It is a little address book, not address book, a planner. But it's got all kinds of like stuff in it, like, Conversions, values, definitions, pipe tape, I don't know, flange taps. This must be for like a man. Cities and towns, populations. Let's see, with the population of Texas, six million. I think we're at eight million now or something like that. Let's see. Oh yeah, we're right up there. New York has 13 million. And then December 1950 starts th this agenda. And it looks like expense, rent, 
1376 miles K to Fell for trash removal. There's some numbers in here. Not every page is used, but the ones that are pretty, it's from Oklahoma. And then there's a bunch of maps, which I guess this is probably where this goes. And then I did pay a lot more than I sh probably should have for this, but there wasn't a price tag on it. And so I took it up to the register. There were a lot of people behind me and they had to call the lady and find out how much she wanted for it. And um, I felt bad saying no, so I said yes. Because <laughs> that's how I be doing. Anxiety is real. So that is super cute. I'm very happy with that. So these are the things I got from that antique store, antique mall um, in McKinney. And then we went and walked down some more. And actually these we picked up at the very beginning of our trip. Um, there was this little store that called the Groovy Coop. And so I'm going to keep that one hid. It's got lots of bad words in it. <laughs> I can just cover it up. Um, yeah. So I got that for my journal and that too. And then I got this for my daughter. She's having a Mean Girls themed Sweet 16. So I'm gonna put some cash in there and give that to her. So there's those from the Groovy Coop. Also picked her up some stuff, but she's taken it. And then this is called Downtown Dry Goods Fine Fabric and Sewing Sundries. And y'all, they have so much fabric. And it is so gorgeous. And they have, these are called paper samples. I mean, fabric samples. They have classes, they have like a yarn crawl. I mean, I don't wanna live in Texarkana anymore. I wanna go there. Um, these are called, they're fat quarters. Um, but I think they had them listed on the wall as um, fabric samples. So let's look at these, let's open them up because I'm ready to put them away. So there's this one. And that one, oh my gosh, that just brings me so much joy. This one, I think this would make a really lovely inside journal, inside of a journal cover. There's that one. And this one. They have everything like color coded and y'all, it's just so gorgeous. So many options. And I just picked up a bunch of fat quarters. Like, let's see, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I got 12, 12. Cause I need more fabric, right? They're just so pretty. This is one is one of my favorites. It's got kind of a Christmas vibe, honestly. So does this one. I was really into the Christmas spirit and then it just flew by. There's that one. This one's also one of my favorites. And then this one. Like, can you, can you believe that? Just like, look at how gorgeous. And so I had these um, trims in the bag with me when we made it to the store. And so I was able to kind of compare a little bit. And look at that. That I think goes very well. And then I think these also do. The purple, not so much, but I do have some fabrics that it will go well with. Okay, I love this. So there, these are the things I got while we when we went shopping right before Christmas. 
when we went and saw my sister-in-law. And if you have an opportunity to go to downtown McKinney, Texas and shop, you should do it. So let me see, let me move this stuff out of the way and get the items I picked up at Goodwill. Okay, so I decided these were on top. So I think I had a Timu haul over the break or like an order come in and I did not haul it because I felt like I was doing too many of those. And so this was the second part of it that came in late. These, This is a Rolodex pocket die. So it's the Rolodex part and then the pocket. And then here is that um, waxer I was telling you about. So I'm gonna try it on here. <coughs> Sorry about my cough, I'm getting a tickle. So you just like run your thread over it and it's supposed to wax it. I'm not real sure how exactly how it works, but it's supposed to wax your thread for you. Oh yeah, that's working. So I can run that um, embroidery floss over and it will wax it for me. I love that. Okay, so that came from Timu. I'm gonna leave that out. Okay, I know it really bothers some people that I don't unpack all this before. Uh-oh, I hope this isn't broken. Don't remember what this is. I went into the Goodwill Oh, okay. I do remember now. I went into the Goodwill to get a picture frame for a gift and came out with a whole bunch of stuff that I forgot I bought. Oh my gosh. I don't know where I'm going to put all this stuff. <laughs> start with these so these are on mega sale I want to say the green was 50% off this day this is a dollar 99 it's a teapot covered in tape I want to see the inside of it yeah super cute Really tiny and cute. Look at that. Beautiful. I don't really know why that's discolored, but look at that. Love it. Then I don't really know what this is, but it's fine bone china from England that they have put tape on. Because there's something in here. Another little don't know what that is. Look at this little dish. I was thinking I could make a pin cushion out of that. And then there's this. I don't know. Does anybody know what this is for? I don't really know. It. They all need to be cleaned. And then this vase with these butterflies on it. Um for 99 cents. It says it's made in Thailand. FTD, I don't know. And then this one, because again, it was right before Christmas, 99 cents. These little stickers are sometimes hard to get off. It's called the something collection, the to Toscany. Is that how you spell Tuscany? I don't know. But this is cute, and I had intended on using it on my desk for stuff, but that will get packed away with my Christmas things. Okay. I forgot I had these. 
Then this is falling apart, but it is Hallmark French doilies, uh, eight by 10 doilies. These would make great pages and journals. There are, no, there's eight 10 by 14 and three fourths inch doilies. So those will be pages in books and journals. And then I think the last thing I have to share are these. And I'm gonna be honest, I don't need these. <laughs> oh wait, there's another thing in there. Let me get it. Look at that. Is that not the gaudiest vintagey thing you've ever seen? I just realized there's no way for me to set it. I'll have to hang it. And that's fine. I was just looking for something to put on the wall. This will be perfect. Look at that. I love it. Then I got these. They're exactly the same. Maybe it was orange that was on sale. They're brand new photo books. Um, there's 204 photo slots in here. And so, I don't know if you guys know or remember, but I store my fussy cuts in binders. Let me grab one. So, this is one that I have found and I store my fussy cuts in here and like the things I pull out of magazines and stuff, I store them in this and I've added some extra space in the back. So that's what these two are for. So I will never run out of space for a bimmer. <laughs> um, but I'm pretty sure that's all I have. I'm going to put this up. And then I'm going to film a tour of my craft room. So if you're interested, come back for the next video. This for real is going to happen. I know that I've been saying a lot that I'm going to record something or do something and it never happens. But it's a whole new year. I'm not going to promise anything, but I will tell you the craft room tour is coming because that's what I'm fixing to do. So let me put all this stuff up and I'll see you next time. Thanks for hanging out. Bye.